Good morning everyone. Teacher Thomas Thailand here. It's Tuesday morning about 9 a.m. Thought I'd get out this morning and take a little motorcycle drive down to the beach. I'm about six minutes from my house in Banchang. This beach is called Pala. Pala Beach. And what's great about it is when you live here, you come down during the week and you basically got the place to yourself. What's really unique about this area are all these pine trees. So uh, it's not often you see evergreen beaches, right? We think of beaches, we think of palm trees. But Thailand, you have quite a few of these evergreen beaches. In Thai, you'd say Suan Son, Suan Son, evergreen. There's actually one beach uh, down east of Rayong that actually has that name, Hot Suan Son. Uh, hot means beach, so evergreen beach. What's great about this area is you can just come down here and chill. This is kind of like a uh, national park area. So there's no main busy beach road. You just have the park road comes down in here. Down here on this far end, it's just pretty much primitive. Bring your own hammock bring your own beach chairs, have a little picnic, that kind of thing. But it's so long, as you can see. So even on the weekends when it's pretty busy, there's always a lot of room to find your own spot. Like it says, had a little tourist service center over here. Let's take a walk down through here. Kind of got it on wide angle this morning so you can get the, the vibe of the place. They keep the sand raked really good up here. Uh, always having to rake up the pine needles and stuff. But it's, you know, they, it's pretty clean. And like I say, there's really, there's no restrictions other than no fires, obviously. But, I mean, you come down and park bring your picnic items throw a blanket out a couple of hammocks whatever plenty of shade get out and enjoy the beach a little bit uh, the water's pretty clear here it's not not really very murky you do get quite a bit of breeze pretty much constant down here even on a calm day in town you got that south gulf breeze coming in so you're in the shade you got the nice sea breeze and uh, it's pretty relaxing we'll walk down through here when you start seeing the umbrellas and the beach chairs and stuff the way they've got it set up is there's multiple different restaurants I think 23 of them We'll go out there on the road here in a bit. You can see the different different setups that they have. So wherever you park, whatever number you park in front of, once you get down here to the service end, uh, that's who's going to serve you, bring you a menu. So you know you find the one that you really like the food at. It's not too expensive, and and you park it at their number and and come on down and sit in their in their chairs so it's it's uh it's kind of like one of those deals if you're if you want to eat at restaurant number 11 you don't park down here at 23 and walk down because in 23 you might have some customers that want to come in and eat it at their service area so it's kind of the way it works there is additional parking around back so if uh, if all the parking's full at the restaurant you want to eat at, you just park around behind the buildings. There's a big parking lot, 
and then walk on over to whichever one you you choose. 21's got a nice setup here. Like I say, it's mostly uh, dinners in the evenings and stuff. There are some of them open for for lunch. I don't know if you can eat breakfast down here or not. There might be some open in the mornings for breakfast. As you can see, I mean, they really keep it raked up. Very nice. You can also rent a hammock down here if you don't bring your own. Like 20 baht for the day. So you can just rent a hammock from them. But I just think the, the evergreens really gives it a whole different vibe from, you know, your normal palm tree type uh, beaches which is very different most people don't think of long needle pine trees when they think of uh, a beach setting but that's what you got here now this is the one we like real well number 11 so we'll park here and come down and, and take a seat I'm not a big fan of these beach style chairs we always get the, the table and chairs the plastic chairs there a little bit more suitable for me see this one's actually 13 here but anyway when they're busy they'll they'll place their menus out here so you can just order order from here or they'll just bring a menu to you after you sit down. But it's a real, it's a real cool vibe. It's it's kind of a unique little area. As you can see, there's a, a lot of room. Have a little Keebler biker coming. Oh, hello. Very good. <laughs> Cutie. Lady Mai. Oh, good, good, good. Same, same. Okay. Dimak, Dimak. Walking, strong. Walking, strong, okay. exercise, good. And then a lot of people just park in this little area over here. We'll walk down to the beach over here. So, again, you're not really committed to have dinner down here at one of these places if you just want to come chill at the beach. It's a public area, so not an issue. Island out there is called Sumeson. Sumeson Beach or Island? Go, go Sumeson.
road where you come in at. So it's not like a really popular tourist spot. It's mostly local Thai people. It looks like there's a restaurant open here already. Oh yeah, she's got it going on at number one. So if you wanted to have some breakfast, some rice soup or Thai omelet. There's a the parking lot around back. There's the toilets over here. Five bot toilet. There's a lot of different uh, beach roads, especially once you get on east of Rayong. A really really long beach road you know and I mean the beaches are nice you, you still have evergreen mixed in with palms but uh, it's a busy road working working <laughs> hello good morning Pupa sangre die my neat noy Okay, Rian. Neat noy. Rian Tukwan. Kachai mai? So, not all are restaurants. Some are like little vendors, you know, floaties and beach toys, stuff like that. But. Every time we come down in the evening, of course, they have uh, fluorescent lights strung around. We've always had a really good meal down here. I mean, it's uh, fresh seafood, obviously. Uh, really good shrimp, oysters, uh, sea bass. So, yeah, you can... Uh, I'm not real big on leaving links kind of lazy with my whole YouTube videos but you can just google Pala P-A-L-A Pala Beach Banchang Rayong and uh, yeah Banchang is B-A-N-C-H-A-N-G Chang in Thai means elephant Ban is home so it's the elephant home area of Rayong province and I guess the history uh, there was a lot of wild elephants in this area. It'd be amazing to see wild elephants at the beach. But anyway, I just want to give you a little tour. You can see it's kind of a whole different feel down here with the evergreens and the big wide beach. And so you've got the seawall. You go down below to the beach if you want to go swimming or wading or whatever. But the upper area here they really keep it nice and raked and uh, you get all the evergreens so it's constant shade another set of toilets down here yeah five bot five bot toilets i'm not sure about the little tourist building over here it looks pretty empty it does say tourist service center all right guys so teacher thomas bringing another video to you here we got a frog down here i'm sure he's a local comes down here gets his exercise in the mornings so pretty quiet not bad nice little area so if any of you guys ever visit rayong province you know send me a private message at teacher thomas thailand on my facebook page and uh be happy to give you a little guide around these areas where it's quiet and, and you kind of get the uh local thai feel of areas instead of the main beach roads where all of the tourists go big tourist bus and all those areas out around go Samet, Samet island uh bon Pei, and that area out there gets gets a lot of tourists but here at Ban Chang, not so much all right guys teacher Thomas I'm gonna go out here and close 
just brought the motorbike out. My wife's Scoopy. The Honda Scoopy, fully automatic. It's the easiest thing I've ever driven before. So that gives you an idea of the area down here. I hope the wide view is really giving you a good perspective. This thing I like about the GoPro. We've got a nice handheld gimbal here, so hopefully it's not as shaky as a lot of my videos that I just upload from the phone. Yeah, it's a pretty good little area to come down and exercise. Just walk back and forth, do a little swimming. Why not? A few soy dogs down here, so. But I've never seen any real aggressive soy dogs, street dogs. So, anyway, there you have it. Pala Beach. I'll close it out by shutting up and listen to the sound of the waves here for a minute. Ooh, might as well walk down, right? You're gonna make a video you, you really should go to the water like I say uh, it's a real calm day no wind in town to speak of but out here you can see the oceans churned up pretty good I didn't bring my water shoes slippy sandals off Typical Thailand trash washes up on the beach. You have to get out here at low tide and clean this stuff up. Typical, typical everywhere in Thailand, pretty much that I've ever been. But yeah, I mean the clarity's not bad, guys. Not bad at all. But if you really want to enjoy some of the more private beaches of Thailand, I always say go where the locals go, right? If you're going where the tourists go, you're really not going to get the same feel of the place. If you go where the locals go, then you got a really good idea what Thailand's actually like. You gotta get away from those tourist areas. And there's a lot of them that you can enjoy. The thing is, you just you gotta get away from the, the main beach roads. Those main beach roads that run parallel to the beach. A lot of restaurants and Western food and all that. I mean, they're, they're great, but they're not going to have the same feel as a place like this. So. All right, Teacher Thomas, Thailand. Remember, stay happy.